fish that can live or survive in a wide range of salinities, ranging from fresh to brackish to marine waters, are referred to as urohaline species. Any fish that can live in brackish water can also survive in marine conditions. Water that is brackish is salter than freshwater but not as salty as seawater. Typically, it happens when freshwater and saltwater mingle, like in estuaries or aquifers. With a salt content of more than 30%, the water appears very dark in hue. The fish that can live both fresh and salt water is number one, catfish. There are species of catfish that can survive in freshwater, brackish water, and saltwater, among other environments. Depending on the species, some catfish prefer still water while others live in rivers and streams with swift currents. Although the native catfish habitat varies greatly, all catfish love to eat, and contrary to popular belief, they are not all bottom feeders. Some species of catfish are nocturnal sleep during the day, while others are diurnal active during the day. Whether it's trudging down a riverbed or skimming the surface of the water in search of larger prey, catfish go where the food is. Wild catfish have a wide range of feeding habits, some are severe scavengers while others prefer to consume huge fish and other prey whole. Some can be omnivorous, carnivorous, or both. Number 2, Molly Fish, Mollies can adapt to living in aquariums with saline water. Where rivers and oceans converge, brackish waters are where mollies normally inhabit. Sailfin mollies may easily transfer from freshwater to saltwater by being exposed to it slowly over a period of at least three to four hours. Mollies are popular in freshwater because they are colorful, can have attractive patterns, and are inexpensive to buy. Over the years, many people have tried and successfully kept mollies in a saltwater aquarium, but there is a pattern of two specific species that seem to survive the best. The expensive saltwater fish can be intimidating to a novice. Number 3, Monodactylus or mono fish, belong to the family Monodactylidae. They can be found anywhere, they can be found in Eastern Africa, Southeast Asia, and along the Australian coast. These fish are primarily found in the shallow areas of inshore reefs, freshwater tidal pools, and estuaries in the Red Sea. This fish species will be an excellent addition to your aquarium if you have experience keeping aquatic animals. These fish are swarming together. They must be kept in bunches. In order for you to successfully keep this fish species in your aquarium, is best maintained by aquarists with plenty of experience. To successfully care for this species, you need to have a lot of expertise housing fish. It's not too difficult to feed mono fish. This is a result of their omnivorous diet. The hungry behavior of these fish should be noted. These fish are fast-growing feeders because they eat a lot of food. In their natural habitat, they eat a variety of plants, insects, and other debris. These fish are relatively simple to feed, as was already explained. When it comes to their diet, they are not picky. You can feed this species dried food if you're keeping it in an aquarium. Maintaining a balance between frozen, dried, and fresh food is crucial. The secret to their survival is variety. Number 4, striped bass, a sleek, Silver fish with longitudinal stripes that begin at the gills and extend to the base of the tail, striped bass are anadromous. Like rainbow trout, which are known as steelhead when they migrate to saltwater, striped bass are anadromous fish, meaning they can live in both freshwater and saltwater. Striped bass are found on the Atlantic coast from Nova Scotia to Florida, but are most common north of South Carolina. Striped bass average 10 to 30 pounds and 20 to 35 inches in length, but they can get much bigger over the course of their 30-year lifespan. These fish only visit freshwater rivers to breed and spend the rest of their life in the ocean. Number 5, Salmon, since salmon can survive in both fresh and salt water, they are referred to as anadromous animals. Depending on the species, they spend a few months to several years in freshwater after birth before migrating to the ocean. 
they return to freshwater when it's time to spawn. Few other fish can tolerate such vast salinity fluctuations and would perish if they transitioned between saline and fresh water like salmon do. This is due to the possibility of cell rupture in saltwater fish exposed to freshwater. Osmoregulation, a process that occurs when freshwater fish are exposed to salt water, can also cause their cells to shrivel. Number 6, Atlantic Stingray, this organism is a stingray species from the family Dasiatidae that belongs to the Animalia kingdom. On the Atlantic coast of North America, this organism lives in freshwater and brackish water. The Pontchartrain, Mississippi, and St. John's Rivers in Florida are examples of freshwater rivers where the Atlantic stingray has been discovered. This stingray lives in shallow sandy waters along the coast, in lakes, and in actuaries where the temperature ranges from 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. These smaller stingrays grow to a width of 12 to 14 inches, are brown to yellowish brown on the tip, and are whitish underneath. This explains why they frequently migrate to warmer climates. They resemble spades because of their oval form and long, pointed snouts. They are not aggressive, despite having long, deadly spines on their tails. Number 7, Bull Shark. The bull shark, also known as the Zambezi shark, is a common species in warm waters all around the world. Both freshwater and saltwater contain this powerful and aggressive shark. This shark is frequently located 150 meters underwater. Both the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic coast contain it. Bull sharks are diatomous, meaning they can easily move between saline and fresh water. They consume bony fish and tiny sharks as food. The ability of the bull shark to manage the water content in its body even from fresh waters distinguishes it from other members of its class as an example of osmoregulation, bull sharks can stay in fresh water for extended periods of time, unlike the majority of sharks. Even the Mississippi and Amazon rivers contain them. They frequently interact with people since they favor shallow coastal waters. Because of their aggressive nature and capacity to move up rivers, bull sharks are frequently regarded as the shark species that poses the greatest risk to people. Shark attacks are incredibly uncommon, though, less than 20 people are killed by shark attacks annually, yet the fishing industry is responsible for the deaths of more than 20 million sharks. Bull sharks rarely congregate outside of mating season thanks to specific glands and renal functions that allow them retain salt in freshwater. Typically, babies are born in the spring or summer, with the exception of tropical climates where babies can be born all year long. Bull sharks typically live for 12 to 16 years, however one was observed to live for 30 years while in captivity.